Uh, the House of Quality is a QFD tool that's used in the voice of customer phase of product development. And by the way, QFD stands for Quality Function Deployment. In a nutshell, what the House of Quality does is helps the team understand, document, and prioritize customers' wants and needs. It's a great tool that's developed by the Japanese in the late 60s and early 70s, but it's continued to use today in many different industries. In this comprehensive tutorial, you'll learn what the House of Quality is and how it relates to QFD. You'll get a quick introduction to QFD phases beyond the House of Quality. Uh, you'll learn when to use the House of Quality. You'll see a step-by-step -step flow chart of how the House of Quality is created. Um, and you'll get a very detailed description of each room in the House of Quality, which includes the customer wants, importance ratings, metrics, or some people call them critical to quality characteristics. Uh, you get a competitive assessment room, targets, conflicts, technical assessment, difficulty ratings, and a few other rooms. QFD is actually a process, it's a comprehensive process to translate the voice of the customer into products or services. And what I want to make clear is that the QFD is not equal to the house of quality, and the house of quality does not equal QFD. House of quality is actually the most recognized specific tool within the QFD process. Starter, we're defining the project. We're thinking about who the customers are, what market segments we're going after, what are the scope and goals of the project, what constraints do we have, who's going to be on the team, and those type of things. Down on the bottom is another graph of technical assessments, your benchmarking data, and then way on the bottom are calculated importance ratings. We'll take a look at each of these rooms in detail shortly, but before we do that, I want to show you a flow chart on navigating through the House of Quality. This is the first of two flowcharts I want to show you. This one shows a very logical process, sequential, step by step, on the order of the rooms to populate in the House of Quality. The first one, of course, is the voice of the customer. The second thing you do is the importance rating. Now, depending on how large your project is, you might stop here and refocus. So there's a shortcut we're going to show you a little later on in this webinar when you get a large list of requirements. But assuming that the list of requirements is a manageable amount, the next main step would be to do the customer perception and rate and ultimate success throughout the value chain. Anyone that has touch points of interaction with the product or service being developed. Anyone that directly influences a purchasing or usage decision. So we want to make sure we have a, a good and comprehensive understanding of who the customers are, because there's often more than one customer we need to make happy for our product or service to be successful. One last piece of advice about developing customer needs is one of the goals you have is to get to a root need. And when you talk to customers, they're going to give you all kinds of things. They're going to talk about solutions. They're going to complain about things, give you features that they want, performance goals or targets, technologies, functions, failure modes, product characteristics, information that's irrelevant to what you're trying to accomplish, items that are outside the scope, metrics, vague statements, and an occasional root want which is really what we want. We want to understand the fundamental need the customer has. So to do that, we need to sift through all the verbatims we get from the customer and extract and derive what we call the root wants. These are the things that'll go into our house of quality. The first question we're gonna ask is which is more important, customer want A or B? The second question we'll ask is how much more important is it using this table up top here? So for example, on the first column here. Mean time between failure of the system has a strong influence on reliability, but no influence on brightness, no influence on quietness, maybe a little influence on inexpensive. This was kind of strange to us because the way we measured acceleration was zero to six time. And our own internal tests, which is the technical assessment on the bottom here, proved that the Ford was actually much faster than the Toyota and the Honda in their zero to 60 time. So what this is suggesting is that mean time between failure of a bulb, the reliability of bulb, if you maximize that, that's going to help the overall reliability of the system, which makes perfect sense. So these importance ratings on the bottom are simply multiplying the symbol weight times the importance rating and adding up each column. So for example, if you look at the first column, headroom, we've got three symbols in it. One of the things you could do is put a roof on the side of this pre-house of quality. 